Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and we got embarrassing excuses on my 600 pound life. Honestly, they're all pretty full of excuses. It's just kind of a cop out or a reason to say like, hey, I didn't do this to myself, blah, blah, blah. But there's never a reason. It's always just you overeating or you doing something. There could be plenty of things that added to it, right? Like stress, other issues. Maybe there was some form of a... Uh, a word I don't want to say on YouTube, but uh, yeah, <sighs> typically it all comes down to overeating. So uh, let's check out these excuses and see what these ladies got going on, because we already got one with front row seats right here, and she's got the food right there within reach, so uh, she's all set, buddy. She's good to go. Let's check it out. My life is miserable because I'm so big that I'm bedridden now. And the entirety of my body just hurts nonstop all day long. We've all been there, right? Working hard on a diet until you have a bad day or two and have to step on the scale. While some people choose... Don't let yourself have a bad day. I mean, people have cheat days. I try my damnedest not to. I didn't even cheat on Thanksgiving stone up to their mistakes and stop falling into bad habits other people come up with some truly terrible excuses the stars of my 600 pound life damn my feet have looked like that before i've literally seen the front of my shin touch the top of my foot it hurts like hell you just want that swelling to go away hers is pretty bad mine's actually got worse than that before have no shortage of excuses both for how they put on all their weight and why they're unable to take it off. So today on Plot Twist, we're going over some of the most embarrassing excuses in the history of the show. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a thing. Now let's dive right into it. Everything in my life has become such a struggle because of how big I am now and all the weight I have on my body. And I'm overwhelmed with the pain that I have to endure every single day. Wow, food truly Damn, this lady keeps getting pissed off and punching holes in the wall. What the hell is going on with her blood sugar? She rages out quick. Also, she doesn't have sheets. The classic, my 600 pound life, no sheets. Has ruined Tiffany's life at this point. She's not quite bedridden, but she's not far from that fate. But I know the only reason I'm in this situation and my body is like this is because of how I eat. So Tiffany has the self-awareness okay. to know that food is the problem and that the solution is to cut back on her eating habits. That's a good sign, right? If I change that, then all this would get better. But at this point... I mean, it's good she at least has an idea. A lot of people don't. They're just like, I don't know how this happened. I haven't been eating that much. Like, total denial mode, which I think I was partially in. But yeah, a lot of people on the show just totally don't even cop up to what they've done. Point, food is the only pleasure I have left in my life. I get it, food is an escape from your current predicament, but it wouldn't be your only source of joy if you actually lost the weight. By indulging in this obsessive eating, you're only making it harder and harder to find true happiness. Dessert is mostly what I crave, and so my first choice is either cake or ice cream. Nothing I didn't think ice cream was my demon, but I'm realizing that I really like friggin' ice cream. So if I need an ice cream, it's Halo Top, 300 calories, and you can't finish the whole damn pint. Ice cream makes me feel as good as sugar does. Hold on, you start your day off with ice cream? Like, in the morning? That's a cry for help if I've ever heard one. Done that before, but also... I need to find what kind of sugar this lady's talking about, because she's having more fun with it than I did. And the second I take a bite... All my pain and worry fade away for just a moment. So as long as I'm eating, it's like I'm invincible. Nothing can hurt me. Come on, Tiffany. You know that your so-called feeling of invincibility is nothing but a delusion. It's ironic, really. Tiffany's using that feeling of indestructibility to justify her terrible eating habits, but it's actually putting her closer and closer to death. That was the last... I mean, those drumsticks aren't even that damn good. What is it, strawberry shortcake? Are those ones? They're way better. Big obstacle. So I'm hoping now we could get some food and then rest. But I'm starving right now. Excuse me. We need to get dinner. Can you go through a drive through for us? Let me get up here. Yay, the calorie coaster. She found it too. I'll stop. Fast forward a bit and Tiffany is just one day away from her visit with Doctor Now and a drive through might not be the best choice of meal. Combo. Uh, can I get a number one combo, please? Large. And then can I get an order of the three-piece chicken strips? Uh, and then can I get a number two, please? Medium. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Okay, so I'll buy the excuse that it's hard to eat well on the road, but you certainly don't need that much food, especially the night before you meet a weight loss surgeon. And I don't 
don't even buy the excuse. There's better options on most menus. I mean, not much better at all, but you just can't go to fast food joints and expect to eat that healthy. Come on, a large milkshake? How can you possibly justify that? I know tomorrow my life will change. At least I'm hoping it will. But if Dr. Now says he can help me and lets me do his program, then that'll probably mean all bad food is gone for a while. And that's gonna be hard. All right, so Tiffany is basically saying that this is the last hurrah before giving up junk food for a while. But honestly, Tiffany, look at yourself. This woman is basically at death's door already. The time to give up milkshakes was weeks ago. And did you catch- So, I think she went to Chick-fil-A. I don't know, I've only been there once in my life. I know blasphemy, but Popeye's just hits way harder in my opinion. Catch that she said all bad food is gone for a while? Tiffany, if you're serious about this, the bad food will be gone forever. This isn't some quick fix. This is a complete lifestyle overhaul. My life is miserable because I'm so big that I'm bedridden now. And the entirety of my body just hurts nonstop all day long. And it's so bad that I haven't been able to get up for over a year now. Damn, lady, you started the episode Cheeks Out just right to the world? Well, at least she's open with it. So I've had to learn to live in a whole different way. That's demeaning. Octavia hasn't left her bed in over a year, and her life is basically on pause due to her addiction to unhealthy foods. I try my best to clean myself as much as I can, and there are some days I want to just skip it, but it's something that I have to do because it's dangerous at my size if you don't stay clean because your body chafes easily. Bathing herself is literally the only thing she can do on her own anymore, and even that simple act puts her in excruciating pain. She honestly seems to be living a nightmare. What could possibly make it all worth it? Eating is my It's a nightmare, literally. The skin rubbing underneath like folds and stuff, it definitely chafes. It'll cause a pretty nasty infection. And I don't think just wiping yourself with a rag with some soap in bed is going to do anything about that. I'm almost certain that she still gets those kinds of rashes. Happiness. It makes me feel safe. And if I could, I just wouldn't stop. Because I love to eat. Octavia eating. I mean, nachos are happiness to me too. I just can't have them anymore because I'm trying to lose weight. Eating might make you feel safe, but in reality, it's the reason why you're in that bed and the reason you probably won't live too much longer if you don't change your ways. The only downside is that my sister usually wants to lecture me. She looks after me for a bit while Taisha runs errands and she'll try to push me to eat stuff I don't want. Well, at least there's one person out there that's willing to put Octavia out of her comfort zone. Group hug. <laughs> you can hug all three at once that's got to be a life hack get big enough you can hug all the kids at once so you don't waste time she's a freaking genius that's what she's doing and she pushes me to get up but she doesn't understand how much pain i'm constantly in look i'm not denying that standing up at her way could put a lot of stress on her body but that's simply no excuse she's not gonna get better without eating better and exercise so octavia can't use discomfort as an excuse to not make progress did you get up today no, I didn't get up. You leave me alone. To be fair, everything does hurt. Your ankles, your knees, your back, but I guess she just sits here and plays with costume jewelry all damn day. Mm. So what are we going to have for lunch? A Southwest salad sounds amazing. I want some barbecue. Come on, Octavia. If food is supposedly your solace, then why can't you eat a Southwest salad? Yeah, it's not as tasty as barbecue, but it's still pretty good. And more importantly, it's good for you. So I it's probably not that bad. I mean, ribs are probably going to beat anything else. But yeah, I typically don't order barbecue anyway. I know people would say, well, why do you bring her this stuff when you're confined to your home and you really can't do anything else? This is the little bit of joy that she does have. Whatever I don't get, she'll find someone else to get. So far, more I get that. I mean, people... <sighs> When you're stuck in bed, they're going to try to make it better by just giving you a little piece of solace or whatever. But it's not the right move. It's just going to make it worse and worse, and you're just going to take care of them longer and longer. Those are the excuses have come from Octavia herself, but we really need to stop and break that one down for a second. Are you for real? The reason Octavia has no other sources of joy is because she won't stop eating. It might make her upset in the short term, but in the long term, it's the best thing you can do for her. And you can't use other enablers as an excuse. Come on, be the change you want to see in the world. Extra pickles. Sometimes there's skimpy with the french fries. So you want a side order of fries? I do. Okay. Damn, she's going to get that barbecue anyway. 
You're her barbecue. Oh, I can't say. I'm not going to curse. But... Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Just like that, she broke. I will give her credit for putting up a fight, but Octavia has no power in this situation. She literally can't leave the bed. If you bring her a salad, eventually she'll have to eat it. I can't believe what I've let my life become. I've gotten so big that it's hard to do just about anything. And every day, it gets worse. By her own admission, Mercedes... Um, I mean, I know how miserable it is, but... She just let it get to a point where she's sharing a bed, it looks like, with her daughter. I don't think I've seen any of these people before on any of these compilations. So they definitely look like ones I need to check out. But her life doesn't look that great right now. Sadie's can't do just about anything on her own, and she knows it's her fault. I help my mom by getting her what she want and what she need. And I know it's hard for her because she want to do for us. And I not do it for her. Honestly, that can't feel good. It's one thing to let yourself down, but no mother would want to put this type of burden on her children. So what's... It's sad. And also, how did she make that little man? Well, I guess she couldn't get out of bed. She had nothing better to do, but you know what I mean. Causing all these problems. Once Brittany helps me get dressed, I can finally eat and I can't wait. Mercedes has a caretaker come help her during the day and the strenuous act of showering leaves her desperate for food. So he takes care of me for the morning, and he knows what I like. My favorite. Oh, damn, we got a bacon boyfriend in the house. At least this guy's not cooking in the bedroom for her. She at least has to wait to get it. She can smell it coming in there, though. You better hurry, buddy. It's the sausage and bacon. Uh, Mercedes, I don't think that's the type of food you should be eating. I mean, if your 11-year-old has to essentially be the mom of the family and showering puts you in insurmountable pain, maybe you should think about a healthier way to start the day. She's doing keto. Good lord. I'm in so much pain from getting up that I need something to help me start to feel better. Is it supposed to be that burnt? I mean, I like my bacon more chewy than that, but a lot of people are on the crispy train. And eating does that. Oh my god, look at all that food. Mercedes is really doubling down here, eating an unhealthy amount of unhealthy food. She justifies this by saying it's the only thing that takes her mind off the pain, but eating like this is why you're in pain in the first place. Good. And I could never really get full, so I just keep eating. Because there are some things in life that we're not meant to try and handle. And I don't have to when I have food. Wow. Uh, deflecting with chicken. I don't think I ever did that. But you're definitely running from your problems by making it way worse. Uh, I always say run from your demons by throwing yourself into the pits of hell and just making it worse and worse and worse. But that's typical addict behavior. Seriously? Mercedes is just straight up saying that it's too hard to try, so she might as well give up. If that's her attitude, then what's the point of even trying Dr. Now's program? Hopefully everybody's favorite weight loss doctor could finally knock some sense into her. So I'm hoping my weight isn't too high, and Dr. Now says he can help me. Oh shit, I found my new pick four numbers for the next time I play it. Holy crap! Mercedes has officially started her weight loss journey with a staggering number. She's close to 800 pounds, and you know Dr. Now is not going to be thrilled about that. Eating you got to this point. So I'm eating, but being sick and um, from surgeries. I'm going to say from eating the whole damn babe, the whole pig, every time, every morning, every bit of bacon. And not being able to walk around and do much. So you think mostly being sick and lack of activity caused you to gain 600 pounds of extra weight? Mercedes, you can lie to yourself, but you sure can't lie to doctor now. Plenty of people have surgeries and maybe they add on a little extra weight, but they don't balloon into the 700s. Yet you I mean, it definitely comes on quick. If you get stuck in that bed, that's what I was so damn scared of. But a lot of people that get stuck there, the only thing they have in a day is eating. They can't get out. They can't do anything. To walk around and if you run marathon, you're going to be 150 pounds, right? <laughs> yeah. That's not reality, okay? <laughs> but let's talk about you, actually. That is so ridiculous, Dr. Now has to joke about it. And frankly, that's the only response you can make. Mercedes is clearly way too diluted in denial to be open to much of anything right now, so Dr. Now needs to slowly show her the error of her ways. Alright, but that's a lot of crazy excuses. I mean, what do you expect? My 600 pound life, people are going to make excuses. 
it kind of shields them from actually like accepting the fact that they did anything wrong or that they've messed up. Personally, I'd rather just cop up to it and be like, hey, I did this, this happened to me, I screwed up, now it's time to do something about it and work towards a better future. But uh, you can't get better in the same place that you got sick or unwell. So you just need to take yourself to a different place, start working in a different direction, and that's uh, just kind of how it's working. But uh, excuses on my 600 pound life. Plenty of them, every single time. But I think I maybe I'll check out one of these people next time, but I'm going to work on the Joyce episode now. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.